Well, good day, everyone. It's NQ Explorers again. Today we're back in the site of a uh, late 1800s uh, cane cutter social club. This is a sugar cane field, as you can see. Um, you may remember I was here last year um, hunting this site. We did a couple of hunts here and did some got some really great finds. You always get a, some nice silver coins and uh, some old uh, copper coins, bronze coins, but usually they're pretty rotted because of the fertiliser here. But um, just a little bit of history. The place was built in the late 1890s. Um, it was a social club for uh, cane cutting crews, manual cane cutting crews. It burnt down uh, on New Year, early on New Year's Day in 1928 and it was rebuilt. But it was widely known as a, an illegal casino right up until the 1970s when it was in use as a private residence uh, and it was finally demolished in the uh, early 80s. But um, that myth, the mythical trapdoor which uh, I've, I've been seeking for several years now is where uh, apparently there was a trapdoor in the centre of the old casino where uh, the punters used to uh, drop all the coins and, uh, and gaming uh, uh, tokens um, when the local constable raided the place, which was reasonably often, but it was sort of accepted by the authorities as a, <laughs> as a casino and it wasn't bothered too much, I don't think, but um, a lot of coins here over the years, relics and that sort of things. We've got permission on this site um, to come whenever we like, but there's only a couple of months of the year you can hunt it because of the, um, the sugar cane grows very quickly and you can't get in here most of the time, so when it's just been cut, it's been cut about a fortnight ago, um, we come in and do a few days hunting and see how we go. So we'll be back uh, with the first find shortly. Um, thanks for watching. Well, here's uh, today's first find of any significance. It's a very old padlock and it has a brand name on there as they always do, which I can't quite read, but I'll subtitle that brand name. Not much left of the old girl, but it's definitely brass and uh, the steel uh, locking mechanisms uh, long rotted off and there's the keyhole. So, uh, okay, that's not a bad little find. Okay, well, with this modern sugarcane crops, uh, they're cut green. They use the green harvesters rather than the old style burning when they used to have to burn the cane to cut, harvest it. And uh, what you can see here is these, as a, as a sort of an environmental uh, fertilizer system, these uh, what they call trash blanket fertilization. So all the, uh, the tops off the previous year's cut, as you can see, is lying in the rows, um, which means for detecting, um, there's about three or four inches of uh, cane. Uh, tops that you have to get through before you get to the soil, which doesn't make it too easy. But anyway, I've, I've got a really good signal out of here, which is indicating a coin size object. I'll show you this uh, on the uh, detector. It's ringing out really high and it's in this clod here, so let's see what we got. Could be another piece of scrap aluminium. Who knows? I'll just keep checking it on the... Okay, it's in this piece. Can't see anything. Hey, is that a, that's possibly a coin there? Look at that. Maybe a silver coin. Looks really good, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Now a coin ball job. Oh, this is a florin, I think. Look at this. Coin ball florin. Yes. Look at that. That was in the centre of the row. It's a King George VI. Okay, well, I'll clean it and I'll come back with a uh, date on this one. What a find, a big silver coin. That's uh, only the second real target I've got after that uh, lock. Well, how good is that? Look at that. That coin is just beautiful. It was in the centre of the row, about three inches down. I think, I can't quite read that. It's either a 45 or a 46, which is tantalising because the 45s are uh, sterling silver and the 46, 50% silver. Never mind, it's silver anyway, that's a great start to the hunt. Okay, I'll keep uh, concentrating in this area, we found this beautiful florin. Well, we've got a lovely high tone uh, at quite a depth. This shows you actually the detectors, because of the moisture in the soil, it's really punching through this, uh, even through the cane trash in this lovely moist soil. Um, you can see the coin there. <whistles> got the pro pointer today too, which is a bit of a revelation. But uh, looks to be a one cent piece. I think so, yes. It's an old Australian one cent piece, that'll be a QE2 obviously. Um, but, like I said, this site um, was used right up until uh, probably the late 70s this place was demolished, So, and then it's been sugar cane ever since. So you'll get coins from the uh, decimalisation uh, point at 1966 up to uh, when it was demolished, but generally the coins are older, but we do get a couple, the occasional decimals. Well, that's a good little coin to find. On we go. <coughs> But I've got a really good signal, it just improved as I got deeper from the sort of a bit awkward on the side of this row here, but we'll see what comes out of here. 
it's indicating it could be a coin size object it's going to be fairly deep I think but like I said the machine's getting down in this damp soil beautifully so getting good depth well I'll keep digging and uh, we'll see what we come out of here well that live dig went south at a great rate of knots there as you saw so but anyway it's in here somewhere what's this is that a looks like a mutilated coin doesn't it okay well I'll just unless it's just a bit of scrap aluminium anyway I'll clean it up and see what next one's a very large target out of a quite a deep hole it's a lovely old uh, ream drum bunk so uh, that'll clean up beautifully and uh, go in the collection good one I'm working my way down these rows towards the creek which I'll show you in a minute but uh, I've got a lovely signal here and I think I may have got another silver coin slipped out of this quite deep hole in the centre of the row in this little, well it's not a coin ball but that looks to be a shilling, look at that shillings are not so common that I'm pretty sure is a shilling well let's have a good look at this we'll see if it's a, uh, a merino ram or it's an older King George V shilling what a beauty, righto eh? okay I'll be back shortly with that coin well there she is, it's definitely a shilling, beautiful, we call it a coin ball, it's a coin polyhedron, <laughs> look at this, florin and then a shilling, that's, what a great day out, oh that is really worn, look at, that thing is probably quite old, it may be older than a, definitely a shilling, you can see the milled edge on the silver, that'll be a sterling silver, tarnished as you can see, but uh, shillings, not so common, and that is a beautiful coin. So uh, I'll uh, see if I can do a field clean. I haven't got a magnifier with me and I'll try to get a date, otherwise I'll subtitle it. Good one. Well, there she is, absolutely beautiful Australian shilling, King George V. We can't read that date. <laughs> no doubt you'll be able to read it. I'll magnify it on the, uh, when I get home and I'll, um, I'll subtitle it. And there's King George V on the other side. That coin's in a lovely condition, actually. Typically, typically these sterling silver KG5s get quite worn because they stay in circulation for long periods of time. I think that could be a 1915 or a 1916. You can probably see that there anyway. Okay, on we go. Well, I've made it up to the creek at the rear of the site. This is a beautiful permanent creek. Uh, it's a uh, beautiful sandy bottom, fresh water obviously, and it's no uh, problem with crocodiles here, so it's a great spot for a uh, dip on a hot uh, summer afternoon. It actually originates way up in the mountains up there. There's a big waterfall up in there. It's a pretty spectacular country up in there, but no, it's a beautiful spot here, so uh, you can always go for a cold dip after we've uh, finished detecting. Well, we've been here about three hours now, so we're going to wrap it up. Uh, it's getting a bit warm in the middle of the day. Uh, that wasn't too bad today. A beautiful florin and a silver shilling and uh, the one cent piece and uh, a couple of little artefacts. Um, like I said earlier, this site hasn't been ploughed since we are here last year, so we're just uh, detecting the old ground that we did last year. Um, this time next year, this will be all ploughed, heavily ploughed and uh, bumper discs, so uh, it'll turn the soil over quite substantially. And there's a good chance some of the deeper coins will come back up back to the surface because it, it just they keep regurgitating as the uh, as the soil's turned over. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video, everyone. Happy hunting. Bye for now.